that amazing how we can doubt something that we already know is true? Sir, you better say that. That's Come on. Good. Come on. All it takes is the enemy to play with our mind just one second so we can doubt something that we know is that's right. Come on. That's right. A magician is, a magician is, is a, a, a magician. There we go. A magician is nobody really special. He just has learned how to make you doubt what you really see. Uh -huh. That's right. Just to make you guess. To make you rethink what you thought was there but really wasn't. Mm -hmm. To make you think what was possible or impossible could be possible. Uh-huh. Can't no man le levitate by himself. That's right. Amen. But you hang around a magician long enough, David Blaine, he'll make you run off and think he did. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Uh -oh. So just like in this show, we, we, we have seen people that we have brought charges against. We have brought charges against people, and, and the sole purpose of it was to remove any doubt that this person could be innocent. I don't believe our justice system is set up as innocent until proven guilty. I believe that it's guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> And I believe the church is the same way. You guilty until proven? Yes. Yes. Come on. So in an effort to remove any of that, they go through all of this stuff. Now, after the charges, after they get all this evidence, they take it to what's called a grand jury. Am I talking to somebody? They take it to what's called a grand jury. And the grand jury is a group of people that they pull together and they show them all the evidence. They bring in people, bring in witnesses, and their job is to talk to you and tell you what we think the charges should be uh -huh. after we hear the evidence or if they should be charged. And in every one of these cases on this show, they came back with charges. Uh -huh. The DA was commanded to, hey, prosecute. Go after them. Go after this charge because we believe this crime has been committed. Isn't it funny how you can win people over to the wrong side very easily? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all don't like this. I got 11 minutes and then I'm out of your way. Uh, isn't it funny how we can win people over to stuff that really didn't happen? Isn't it funny that a lie can gain more momentum than the truth? Amen. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes you got to look and say, you know what? That's just too good to even be a lie. Come on. Come on. Amen. Charges were dropped up. And the natural ability is of people to think the worst. Right. You tell me you're from the ghetto, but well, the first thing I'm gonna think is that you are ghetto. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all might as well say amen. amen. First thing I'm gonna think is that you got potential to rob. First thing I'm gonna think you got potential to steal. First thing I'm gonna put, hello somebody. Amen. I'm gonna think you're a fighter. That you got a gun. That you got a knife. No disrespect to some of y'all that carry that. Amen. I know I got some in here. You ain't gotta say that. Amen. Hey man, when we get the new church, though, it's gonna be something at the door. So I'm just saying, leave it in the car. Amen. So we don't have to do the pad now. Oh, oh. Security. Are you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> but we look at people. John Maxwell says we have a tendency to put a price on people's head to value them. So we look at people and we assume stuff just by how they look, just by how they dress, just by how they talk, just by how they handle themselves, and we assume stuff about. That really ain't true. Amen. And even if it was true, it ain't true no more. See, but I have learned doing this Christian walk is full of people sitting on the sidelines waiting for you to fail. Amen. I have learned that this is not like the NBA, Andre. I have learned that there's not a whole bunch of folk on the sidelines cheering you on. Amen. I have learned that in this life, there's a whole bunch of haters and a whole section. To talk about you, to do you in, to make sure that you come up short, and if for whatever reason, all right, come on. Yeah. some folk hate you just because you look as cute as me. I let that CK and marinate. I know, right? Some folk hate you just because. Yes. Some folk don't like you, and they can't figure out why they don't like. Yes. Some folk don't like you just because you're a smaller size than they are. Some folk don't like you because you're larger size than they are. Yeah. Hello. Some folk don't like you because they wish they had the size you are. Yeah. But y'all ain't here. But there's always an enemy trying to pull you down. There's always an enemy on the sideline trying to get you to, to, to not graduate, trying to keep you from moving forward. There is an enemy that will go to any length to accuse you. Right. There is an enemy that will go through any means to accuse you. Even if it means making a 
up events and conversations. Yep. I have been in places that I ain't never been in, but I've been there. Uh -huh. Wow. Had conversations that I never had, oh. but I had. Wow. Y'all don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> People are always trying to bring up charges. And then the funny how the enemy will convince even your peers that you're not the person that they have known you to be. Come on, man. Isn't it funny how people can be easily persuaded to think the worst? When you've been running with me, David said it was not my brother, my enemy that forsake me. Yes. Wow. Not my enemy, it was my brother. Those that knew me, that, that went up in the prayer room with me, those that came to prayer meeting with me, those that came to Bible study with me, those that rode in the car with me, those that broke bread with me, it was those people that came. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, but I've been vindicated. I've been vindicated. And here's the thing about accusations. Here's how, how dangerous accusations are. Accusations are simply a weapon of the enemy to distract you from reaching your goal. Amen. Accusations are, are, are not simple words. And we've got to get past this. We've got to understand that when you accuse somebody of something, what you're really saying is this is what I believe in my heart that you're capable of, of doing. Amen. This is what I really think about you when you ain't around. My God. Uh-oh. Y'all don't like this. This is how I really feel about you. That's right. But see, when a person is a person that takes those things to heart, that may value you because you're a friend and takes those things to heart, when you are accused of something, it will cause you to withdraw as a person. Amen. We got a lot of saints that had a withdrawal mode because they don't, they've been accused of something they didn't do and they're saying, you know what? It's just going to be this way all the time. Ain't nobody ever going to listen. They ain't going to never let me live that down. They ain't going to never forget I had a baby out of wedlock. They ain't going to never forget I used to dance in the club. They ain't going to never forget I used to have a drinking problem. They ain't going to never forget I used to have a man problem. They ain't going to never forget I used to have a woman problem. They ain't going to never forget I used to have a drug habit. I ain't gonna never forget I used to be an abuser. They ain't gonna never forget that I was in jail. They ain't gonna. All right. All right. All right. Come on. And in the church a place where we should be forgetting where people have. Yeah. 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 In the church a place where we should be looking at people and giving them another chance yeah. for their future. In the church a place where it should be you're welcome. We don't care where you've been. We just want to help you to get to where you're going. We don't care what you used to do, but we're going to help you change into the person that God is calling you to be. Yes. All right. That's good. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. Preach. Accusation can be a weapon of discouragement, a weapon of distraction, a weapon of, 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 of disengagement. Accusations can do more damage than the actual event that could or could not have happened in your life. Amen. Say that, sir. Amen. I've seen people after vindicated, vind being vindicated from something still not able to re-engage because of the accusation because we do a good job of running people down in the ground. We do a good job job of dogging folk out. We do a good job of building up a crew of people to talk about them and ostracize people yes. in the church. Amen. Oh, so true. It's just, it's just, it's just. And this is the thing. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall. So you got, listen, listen, I don't care how much you've been accused, you cannot allow this weapon to be formed against you and let it prosper. You cannot allow accusations to keep you from moving forward. You cannot allow what people say to hold you back in a place. You cannot allow what people to do how they treat you to hold you back in a place. That's when you have got to learn to love from the standpoint of God, that I'm going to love you regardless of how you treat me. I'm going to love you regardless of how you act toward me. I'm going to love you even Bro, I just heard what you said about me. I'm going to love you because I've got the love of God in my life. And this accusation shall not distract me from loving you. It shall not distract me from pushing you. It shall not distract me from getting to my destiny. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Just because I have a past don't mean we ought to live in it. That's good. Here's something I got from Dr. Uh, Dr. Brahma. 
He said this, I saw this yesterday. He said what people don't understand is sometimes the people with the worst past have the best future. All right. Amen. Amen. Isn't that something? I got scripture to back that up and I'm closing. I got scripture to the back that up. He said that we are more than conquerors. Yeah. Uh -huh. More. More than conquerors. Just a conqueror is somebody who ain't never went through anything. Mm -hmm. God just God just blesses them. They just go down the pathway. God just blesses them. Everything all you've been in the church, you've been saved all your life. You've been saved since inception and conception. You just been saved. Come on. But the more than the conqueror is a person that's been through hell, that's been through the muck, that's been through the mire, that's been pushed down to the lowest, that lived in the gutter, yeah. that was talked about and they did it, that was bruised and they did it. The person that's been through the worst situation and they were guilty of it and yet they were able to come out, yet they were able to overcome. I wish I had about three people yeah. that know what I'm talking about and say I was down one day but I was able to rise to the top. God made me more than a conqueror. And I was able to come out from this thing. And the devil thought it had me. Oh, I got away. Made me more than a conqueror. I'm closing. That's true. So here it is. Here it is. And I got six minutes. Oh, one minute and fifty. One minute. Forty-three, forty-two seconds. See, the trial was conducted. So we had the events to happen. We had the charges brought, and then the trial and conducted, and the sentence was passed. And in each one of these cases, we knew that the evidence against the person would be taken before a trial, jury, and judge. And in each case, they found them guilty. So now another set of your peers have found you guilty of something that you didn't do. The DA and everybody else was so convincing and the weight of the evidence against you that it found an innocent person guilty. Mm. And after all the evidence was pre presented, the jury deliberated and they came back with yet another guilty. Because the evidence was so compelling. It just looked like you did. It just looked like you capable of it. It just looked like you could do something like that. But then we find out that after some years of some persistent avenues, the truth finally comes to life. And we find out that the person did not do it. We find out that the person actually wasn't even there. That the person wasn't even a part of the incident. See, vindicated means this. Vindicated means obsolete, to set free, deliver, avenge, to set free from allegations, to blame or blame, to confirm, substantiate, or to provide justification or defense for, to justify, to protect from attack or encroachment, to defend or maintain the right to. Amen. Come on. So in each one of these cases, somebody had to go back and fight for them. Somebody had to go back and say, we will not just settle for what we see here, but we're going to have to have some evidence. And this is a bad thing about it. A lot of times they didn't even have solid evidence on these people, but they had enough other people that would get on the bandwagon and go with them. Can I talk to somebody here? A lot of times what the lies they've been telling about you ain't even nowhere near true, but it's just because five or six other people joined in that people believe that that's who you are. But I'm here to tell you that God is about to vindicate you. And everybody that has lied against you, everybody that has walked away from you, everybody that has mistreated you, is going to have to turn around and testify on your behalf. Amen. Now here's the thing. I'm going to make a left turn here. All right, go ahead, Pat. Make a left turn. I started the message out by saying that the life of the person accused was like the seasons in the Christian life. Y'all remember that? Amen. That was about 14 minutes ago yes. when I said that. I, I believe that it's about the same as the Christian life, that the life that we see is the same. Is the walk is the same. We both have had life-changing events. Yeah. Anybody here had some life-changing events? Some events that, I mean, that hit you to the core. Amen. We had some life-changing events that left us still feeling some kind of way. Some of us are still trying to get over some of the stuff that happened 20 years ago. Amen. 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 Some of us just got over some stuff that happened 20 years ago. Amen. Let's keep it real. Amen. Hey, man, we've both been accused of things that we didn't do, some things that we didn't have any idea of. We've both been accused of some stuff that we didn't even think about doing. Amen. Sometimes Amen. accusations put stuff in your mind that you weren't even thinking about. So true. Amen. 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 Amen
<laughs> yeah. I'll let that go. Uh, we both have had people make decisions about us that we trusted and, and knew that they knew who we really were. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Amen. We both have had people walk in and out of our lives, the people that you trusted, who walked in our life based on a lie, yep. just like in this show. But here's, here's the thing that, that really struck me. Mm -hmm. The only difference between us and them is that they really were innocent. Because of trumped up charges. <laughs> but if I keep it real with us, we really were guilty. Amen. Come on. Amen. Y'all didn't like that part. I'm Come sorry. On. Come on. Real talk. We really were guilty. We were, we were guilty of adultery. We were guilty of lying. We were guilty of backbiting. We were guilty of stealing. We were guilty, I know somebody, of killing whether or not we killed somebody with a gun, a knife, a bullet, or whatever, or whether we killed them with our tongue. We were guilty of assassination. We assassinated some folk behind closed doors, talking with other people. Come on, somebody. We were actually guilty of the stuff that we were done, but because of grace and mercy because of God because he said listen I'm on your side I'm standing behind you the death sentence that was over our life for death hell and the grave had been reversed Jesus had to drop the charges even though we were guilty I was guilty I did it yes. Come on. So I did it yes. it was me I did it Yes. Amen. Jesus yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no doubt about it, I did. Yep. And the fact was that I was vindicated, not from the crime, but I was vindicated from the punishment. I was vindicated because I should be locked up right now. Some of us still got warrants for some mess we got into, for some stuff we got. Come on. Some of us still kind of nervous when we see police riding up on us because we know that if they run our real ID, come on, somebody. Some of us still kind of nervous if some folks from our past run across us in this city because just because you move from a city don't mean stuff don't follow you. Yeah. Come on, come on. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Some of us still, but thanks be to God. I am not what I used to be. I am not how I used to be. I have changed from what I used to be. I'm looking at a new life. I'm looking at new direction. I got a change of mind. My heart is different. My mindset is different. My motive is different. I know that I used to do it. And I was guilty back then. But thanks be to God that he saw my potential 2,000 years ago and said, I'll die now for what is to come. I'll die now for your future. Because if it had not been for God, I'd still be locked up, bound in my mind. I'd still be locked up, bound in my spirit. I'd still be locked up, bound in my soul. But thanks be to God who has given me victory. He vindicated me. He vindicated me. He died on the cross for every last one of my sins. He put it in place before I ever did it. Like the fence was already there. He knew I was going to do it. So he put it in place on the cross. He died just for this thing. He died just for your past. He died history. Vindicated. I was vindicated before I ever knew I needed somebody to defend me. Before I ever understood I needed somebody to go before me. Before I ever understood that I needed somebody to take my place. Because the truth of the matter, he took my place. He took my place. That was set for me. The cross was set for you. To be hung up, cursed is a man that hangeth on the tree. It was set up just for us. Lord, have mercy. Like a ship without a sail. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for justification. Thank God for grace and mercy. Thank God for bringing me out. Thank God for caring about me. Thank God for sacrificing 
for me. Severing the bank. Nailed 
tell. In between severing some things, then they push him in the side, bleeding out, not just blood, but all the fluid that was contained in his body. Then they came in. Vinegar to silk. Lord have mercy. Vinegar is an agent that when drank, it will constrict, cause blood vessels to open and contract faster. Vinegar moves its blood quickly out of the nail. But that's what God wanted. That's what God intended. Because he knew that not another second could pass. That we didn't need the blood of Jesus to cover my sins. It was in the blood that I had been vindicated. Not because I was innocent, but the blood covered me. The blood covered my sins. With the death angel came to get me. It was the blood of Jesus that spoke out on my behalf. You can't touch him. Yeah, he's guilty, but he's covered in the blood of the Lamb. You ought to thank God for the blood that cleans you. Thank God for the blood that cleans you. Thank God for the blood. Oh, how precious is that blood that washes me from head to toe. It was nothing but the blood. It was nothing but the blood. Tell my enemy, I may have been guilty, but Jesus has pronounced me innocent from the cross, from the blood, from his resurrection. He pronounced me innocent. I've been vindicated from my doing. I've been vindicated from the power of sin. Death has no power. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your power? You can't hold me. You can't stop me. Tell my enemy I'm no longer abiding in the shadow of my yesterday. But I'm abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm covered in the blood. I'm covered by the blood. Who then can bring charges against me? Look to yourself and say, who can bring charges against me? God has chosen you. God has chosen you and justified you. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, we saw it. But God, but for my own sake, I blot out your iniquity. You ought to praise God because he does not remember what you did in. But he remembers where you're going and that you're chosen to go there. Thank God for new hope. Thank God for new destiny. Thank God for my breakthrough. Thank God I'm coming up higher. Thank God I'm going further. Thank God I'm shaking off some stuff. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. That was one. 86. That was one. 2012. I did it. But don't hold me in a place that God has released me from. Don't hold me in a place that I'm walking out of with deliverance. Don't bring me out of bondage only in the church to put me back in bondage. Because the mindset. Sunset free is free indeed. indeed. indeed.